We want to get out to meteorologist Jack Meany in Storm Tracker 3, not too far away from Junction City, for a look at what he has seen tonight, uh, reporting a tornado live on air to the east of uh, uh, near the Ulta Vista area just a few hours ago. Jack. Yeah, Lisa, we've been tracking these storms all day. We started out in Salina, and from there, as storms began to develop, we continued to track along with them to the east. It took them a little while to get going, but right around 7, 8 o'clock, as the sun started going down, they really picked up in intensity, and that storm near Alta Vista cranked up and produced a tornado, and it quickly grew to monstrous proportions while we were tracking along with it. While I cannot confirm directly how wide it was, it appeared at least from our our angle to be nearly a quarter mile wide at times with a massive sculpted mesocyclone above it. It was a sight to behold for sure. A terrifying sight there across northern portions of Morris County into Riley County and also to up into Wabunsee County. But we're going to those storms moved on off towards the east and then there was some hail as well and we actually ran into a man along Interstate 70 where there was some hail damage. I'd pull my coat over my head. I'd call my fiance. Like I was flustered. I really thought all the the glass was going to shatter in my truck. It was like a biblical feeling story. Yeah, those hailstones that he ran into were nearly baseball size. And well, as we were traveling back on Interstate 70 near the Junction City area rest stop, we did find some hailstones on the ground that were over two inches in diameter. And that was after about 30 minutes of melting. So very large hail in addition to those large tornadoes that we did also see. For now, we'll send it back over to y'all in the studio.